All right, so Mom. what I wanted to ask you guys is, are you guys okay if we have another brother or sister? Yeah, you're gonna say something like that. <laughs> <laughs> you thought we would say something like that? You were suspicious. Yeah. What? <laughs> Obviously you can tell by the title of the video that this will be the birth of our daughter, our fourth child, second daughter. And this time around, I didn't film everything in like a complete vlog style format. I filmed bits and pieces of it and I thought I would just kind of fill in the gaps uh, as I go. I know that there's so many of you guys who've been very patiently waiting and You've been so excited and invested in our lives and I just want to say thank you because it really means a lot. Feels a little bit how it did with Oakland. Uh, we were 40 weeks or 41 weeks with her. Leading up to this, it's been a little interesting. We've been sick, uh, the kids have thrown up and uh, I was sick like the night before last kind of a, a quick thing, but I was praying I wouldn't go into labor then just because of how I felt. <laughs> it was a zero energy. And we just moved, so it's been kind of a big, a big chaos or whatever, but we got settled in and I'm so ready to meet our little girl. So we're we'll going to Sarasota Memorial for the birth and my wonderful midwife, Alicia Cash, is hopefully gonna be there to help us deliver her and everything, so. Yeah, I'm excited. What's my little girl doing? Do you know what we're gonna do today? What's mama gonna do today? Uh huh. What's mama gonna do today? Huh? Am I gonna have a baby sister for you? Am I? I think she somewhat grasps it, but not really. So I'm, I'm really excited. I just, I'm very ready to have her out now. Where are you gonna go, Oakland? You got all your bears. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can color it at Grandma's. Okay. We still have to get some donuts for the nurses. Hopefully, we're allowed to take them in. waiting for everything to get started. I'm hooked up, admitted. It took a while, we got delayed. We were supposed to be admitted at like 11 this morning for an induction, but there were no beds available. So we kind of hung out with a couple friends that were also at the hospital for another situation. And we had lunch, got some coffee, waited around, sat outside in the courtyard, you name it, <laughs> until around, I'm gonna say, what was it? or 15 or something. Around seven right now, and they have started me on Pitocin. Uh, just bumping it up slowly. So hopefully, uh, we'll get this baby out here in a little while. <laughs> At this point, it feels a little strange because, you know, it's just there wasn't any really preliminary stuff, but they don't really want me going over a week, and tomorrow would be uh, 41 weeks, so. Anyway, we're ready. Things started progressing finally, and by that point, Alicia came in then and uh, checked, and I think I was at a, I don't know, three or somewhere around there, dilated. So with my other three, I had gotten epidural, so I was kind of expecting it probably would again. And I'm gonna say 9.30, 10 o'clock, 
they were getting a little bit worse not anything I couldn't handle but I could tell they were you know increasing and the nurse all of a sudden came in and said if I want an epidural uh, I might want to try and get it now because there's some c-sections that just came up I guess they think they were scheduled but it sounded like an emergency at that point and so they were like it might be a while until you can get one and I was like okay well sure why not uh and then as she came back in a little bit later and she was like, oh no, I think we just missed it. They have to go do the, the C-sections. I was like, well, I guess we'll see what happens. And then a little bit later, the uh, I don't think she was the anesthesiologist, but she was the one doing the epidurals. She poked her head in, she was like, do you still want an epidural? I was like, yeah. <laughs> so she came in, quickly gave it, and uh, we were good to go. Uh, at that point, like the, the contractions were, were decent. It wasn't horrible or anything. Um, but I was like, well, you know, you don't know how fast things can progress. This is the fourth baby. They're unpredictable. So as, as Alicia liked to say. Anyway, so I got it. Um, and they did keep coming. And I could still feel them and everything. So it kind of, it took a couple hours, I'd say. You can't see us very well, but it's a little bit after two o'clock and i think it is go time right i said i'm complete seven eight nine ten good all right here we go do it again good job i think i pushed for i'm gonna say around 20 25 minutes maybe and she was born at 2.50 a.m. Uh, and everything went well. We're so relieved and so thrilled to have her there. They moved us up to our room around 5 a.m. I did not sleep that rest of the, the morning there. Nick was able to sleep, um, but I had kind of like just trying to recover and everything. I like the epidural wears off and just stuff that goes with that. It, I wasn't able to just like relax and sleep. But yeah, we ended up needing to uh, stay the second night because of the timing and everything. How's it feel, Dad? Fourth time. It just, it's, it's just new every time. <laughs> it's just as cool as it was the first time. So we're currently waiting on some visitors. Probably my mom and I think maybe Dad. It's in the afternoon and she seems to be doing pretty well. She lets us know if something's wrong, but then calms down pretty quickly again. She's pretty uh, lazy so far, but yeah. We're excited. The kids are going to come in, I think, in a couple hours for a little bit. And Oakland saw her on FaceTime this morning, and she was already all excited and baby. And yeah, so I'm excited to have them meet her in person. But uh, we'll likely not be discharged till tomorrow morning. Um, so we'll still have the rest of the day and then the night. Hi guys! Hi. Oh, oh, do you have a gift? What do you think, guys? Hi. Hey, Nora, baby Harper. Come hi. say hi to Harper. Say hi, baby. What do you think? She kind of looks like Oakland a little bit when she was a baby. A little bit. Yeah. Come here. Go, my baby. Oh, 
I think she wants to hold her. What is it? Do you know she's real? Come on. <laughs> she looks like a little, oh, she wants to hold her. Do you want to hold her? <laughs> Baby Harper to have this. Baby mm -hmm. Harper. You pet her head. Good job. Yeah. You're so gentle. Oh. Just oh. <laughs> give us a yeah, okay, gentle. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you panicked there for a second, huh? For the Bible tells me so. You gonna help sing? I did. Now she's got me. No one has to close her eyes and pray. No. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. Who did? Okay. So that was really special being able to bring them in. We just got the biggest kick out of Oakland, how she responded to her kind of nonchalantly, but immediately like she loved her and everything. But yeah, the crying, we got kind of a kick out of that. She did not know what to do with that. She's still a little bit like, oh no, oh no, she's crying. You know, she really wants to be a little mother hen. So I think at some point left, I think he took the, yeah, he took the kids home again. Mom had dropped them off, he brought them up and then he took them home and did a few things and came back then later for part of the evening and then he actually went home the second night to just stay with the kids here at home uh, by the next morning we were able to check out again obviously got her all bundled up and ready to leave so much fun heading home let's go we just got discharged from the hospital. We're over here at my grandma's where Jackson and Oakland are. <laughs> I can't, she's coming to run. Amy Harper. Hey, baby Harper. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I look a little different, right? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, hush to hot shot. You're so unverstandig gebeten. <laughs> Oh, you say it, okay? Oh, my fat chicken. Almost so tiny, clear. Careful. Gentle. Gentle, gentle. She's going to give us a dirty dank TV. What do you think, O? <laughs> wow. Is you pretty proud, Quincy? So fat. Hmm? Oh. I had a little toe. She looks... Wilson, come on, little toe. Oh, my goodness. Oh. <laughs> I know, the toes are long, kind of curled. Uh-oh. Oh. It's okay. What do you need? No, she's okay. I need Benny. Need what? What does she need? I need pennies. Pennies? A band-aid. Oh. <laughs> no, she doesn't need a band-aid. She's not hurt. It's okay. Thank you. <laughs> no band-aid. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 oh. Uh-oh. What are you going to do with her? How old do She's squirming. Do you want me to hold her? Oh, oh, oh. Careful, let me get her. Miss Harper Ellison. I wanted to introduce you guys in person while she's actually awake. So, 
she doesn't do a lot of awake time right now, so I'm really pleased that she's even up right now. We love her dearly. Say hello to everyone. Say hi. Anyway, that is the story of Miss Harper, and I hope you guys enjoyed tagging along. If you're new, hit the subscribe button, I'd love that. And look forward to future videos. Thank you guys, I'll see you next time.